This is the Gore Club Podcast with Steve Vessel, Derek Sturgeon, and Death Metal Dave. I saw that at Little Jade. Oh, that's awesome. You know what? Bees. Oh, we can't go with that. Talk. Everyone knows that part. Bees. <laughs> That's the only part to remember in that movie. Uh, and it's not even good. Yeah. Oh, bees. Okay. It's not good. I, I mean, bees are cool. I like bees. Yeah. You didn't like The Wicker Man? The remake? You said you didn't watch it. No. I didn't watch it. Well, then how, you can't judge it. Yes, I you can. Did it's I got Nicolas it? Cage in it. Oh, Nicholas, I judged, I had to, I had to prejudge it so I wouldn't. Nicholas Cage is a goddamn national treasure. This He's is actually true. in a movie called National Treasure. <laughs> he hasn't made a good movie since Raising Arizona. That's not true. Mandy's amazing. Mandy's amazing. It what is. are you talking about? Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, fucking color I, out of I, space. I, the thing about Nicholas Cage, I love The Rock. Is it, whether uh, it's about like his acting style or whatever, it's what he's done for like the genre. He he helped. Make the film like Shadow of the Vampire happen, things like that. Yeah. Okay, I'll give he you that. loves genre films. He's just not in a, a lot of good ones. He's so into collecting that he married Elvis's daughter, and she looks like Elvis anyway. So he's yeah. like, I need to fuck Elvis. Can't. And he. Oh wait, yes, he, I can. And, and he can. named his child Cal El. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's interesting. People are making fun of like his his leather pink jacket. I'm like, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't, Do what? you have the balls to wear that? No, no. Like, like oh. when I when, like when I originally heard like they were gonna have. Nicholas Cage be Superman. I was like, "Fuck, that's Tim stupid. Burton." But now, now I think they should do it. <laughs> other, other than like that, other than that shitty ass costume they had him in. Yeah, I met was, the, I that costume was that was like the nineties though. So yeah, uh, I, I've I've met the guy who did the special effects for that suit. Oh, we're on. Okay, well we're we're gonna defend. I met the guy who did special effects for that suit. Who made the suit? He was very excited about the suit. His name is uh, uh, um, Jesus Christ. My brain just died. Anyways. <laughs> Was it, was it Bill? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter Tom? right now. But we were talking at a convention, and he was like, really excited about the suit, but he was not excited about the movie. And I'm like, oh, really? And then they leaked that Nicolas Cage in the suit with the bad hair and all with his, that. With his chest hair just like flopping out. Were, oh, God. Yeah, it it looks probably, awful. Looked like he was smuggling puppies. He probably was, a chest merkin. Yeah, he was <laughs> so excited about the fiber optics that they were allowed. They were able to do at that point yeah. um, with you know with foam. And I think, it was probably, I think silicone or whatever. Is just now you can coming. 3D print that shit. Right. But this is like 90, uh, 99 yeah, or some something shit. Like something like that. Anyways, Nicholas mm-hmm. Cage, we're on apparently. Oh, great. Uh, welcome to the, park, uh, God, the, the, the God, goddamn God, Gore God. Club podcast. The Gore Club podcast. Yeah. Gore Club. Thanks, Dave. You're I'm right. Steve Vessel. I'm Death Metal Dave. And tonight we've got a special guest, uh, Jay Gravat. Jay Gravat, welcome to the show. Hello. Tell us about yourself. Tell us a little about, about your past if you want and what you're doing right now. Oh, geez. Well, let's see. Huh? I was in the wagon of a travel <laughs> show. Mama used to dance for the money they'd throw. Oh, well, <laughs> it's not stopped, has it? No. Well, mom did. She's in St. Michael's. But anyway. Oh, man. Um, That's a cemetery. Right. Uh, no, uh, I am from Louisville. Um, and uh, I used to hunt ghosts, and I don't do that anymore. Well, actually, yes, I do. I just uh, started uh, working with another paranormal group recently. Um, I also work with State Archives. Uh, what was the uh, name of the ghost hunting? Uh, that was actually Louisville Ghost Hunters. It was yes. one of the first ones I remember. Yeah. It was in the, the 90s? Uh, yeah, we were uh, early ni- early to mid 90s. I was with them. Uh, we were the in house team for Waverly Hills. Oh, yeah. Um, I, were you on the History Channel or what years. was that? Sci Fi Channel and Discovery Channel That's and right. Travel Channel. I've done, I used to do uh, ghost TV shows. Yeah, anytime I knew, I knew they were talking about Waverly. <laughs> and <laughs> you we see had my met, face. Yeah, well, we had met at a psychic fair. At Waverly, when they it's like the very first one they did when they, I guess the new owners had taken it yeah, over. That was one of the. It's first something I sales. ever re- would think that you would remember, but I remember because it was very small community. They had like this little psychic fair in like the garage. It was freezing yeah. cold, but nobody gave a shit because it was really to, cool. You went to a psychic fair in somebody's garage. It, Waverly's garage, Waverly Hill oh, Sanitarium Waverly. here in Louisville, Kentucky, is one of the most haunted places in the world. Apparently, I can attest to that. I've walked out of there bleeding. Right, and uh, so that's where we first met. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's one of those things, and. Uh, it's fantastic because that, that ghost hunting society, I still have that poster you all gave me. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's still I, rolled I up. I still have my hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Hoodies and bruises. Yeah. Um, so, no, but uh, real life got in the way and, you know, you've got to work a normal job. You really, unless you've got a big name TV show like Taps or something like that, you can't make any money doing that. So, yeah, yeah, had to <clears throat> stop and focus on real life for a while and then uh, kind of got working with a new group lately, uh, Serious Paranormal. 
and uh, I have a lot of fun with them. They are very professional and uh, yeah, a lot of fun to work with. Yeah. And you also have a podcast. I do. I do. It was yeah. a vlog cast on YouTube. It is That Kentucky Witch. And uh, on there I talk about, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, normal witchcraft related things, uh, especially in the LGBT community, which I'm a part of. And uh, Awesome. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun doing that as well. Well, it's good. You have a great history in our subject today, which is witchcraft in the movies. Witchcraft in the movies. It's like witchcraft or witch crap. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot, movie. a lot of these movies, I would say crap. But, well, well, that's just it, though. Our perspective is like, I'm thinking, like, I'm watching the History Channel and going, yeah, that, that's a bunch of bullshit. But is it? Is it? Am I wrong? Am I just going off of what I saw in a movie that I liked? The thought? Like, this is Will Richcraft. Well, if you want an actual witch movie, watch a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> because if you were to make a movie about what, you know, I do, what, you know, the, the type of tradition I do. I'm I'm a garden I'm an initiated gardenarian witch, which is um from, please explain the fuck out of that. <laughs> I sure yeah, so I've we'll, got nothing for that. Well, let me Google that. <laughs> okay. If you go back about uh almost yeah, seventy years now, um Gerald Gardner, um Englishman who uh is pretty much uh the founder of modern day Wicca. Um he was initiated by a coven in the New Forest and um he built on several traditions that came from that and uh, founded uh, Wicca, modern Wicca. And it just grew and grew until Raymond Buckland brought it over here to the United States. And that's kind of how that started over here in the U.S. That's crazy how one person could be like, look, this is all bullshit. And let's do something and structure this. Is that what you're talking about? Well, like, he, how does one person create a whole new movement right. out of something that's been around for folklore? And it's either, you know, it's it's. It's bullshit, or there's well, you know there's real good. He took the secrets that were passed to him and built on them from various sources. Yeah. Um, there's conjecture of where those sources came from, but whatever it was, it works. <laughs> yeah. Author of the Book of Shadows. The yes, Garden, that's Gardner the one. Book of Shadows. Yeah, yes. do you know about that book? Yeah. I, well, it's not just a fucking movie. We we <laughs> we. Anyone who is uh, an initiated witch, be them Gardnerian, Alexandrian. I mean, we've got so many offshoots of Wicca off of Gardnerianism that yes we use a book of shadows that contains spells and you know, things that we work with so you mean it's not all hook nosed ladies and broomsticks do I look like a hook nosed lady to you no exactly I'm not drunk no. anymore no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink so maybe uh, Dave take us on a small history if you may yeah so the you gonna start the, with the bible oh, the recent <laughs> you could you could I mean it's true it's, that's that's where it sort of it? starts in a reference. Uh, what was the year? On I was gonna this? say 931 BC. I 931 BC. Carry that's on. right. Uh, and the story of it's one of the first King mentions Saul. of a witch ever. The way back Saul, machine. The witch right. of Endor. <laughs> the witch of Endor. Uh, the the you know. Which I laughed. You know. Nope, nope. When I read that, I'm like, wow. <laughs> maybe we're gonna eat Han Solo. <laughs> maybe that's where George Lucas. Got well, it was a long time ago. <laughs> far, far away. So that was that was a long time ago. The yeah. Witch of Endor. By the way, he's not joking. That's actually in the history books. I I had to double check that because I was like, I almost spit my Mountain Dew out. <laughs> the fucking Witch of Endor. Yeah, the Ghost of Solomon. Yes. Holy shit. Um, you know, we get further than that. I well, I mean, that thing. Anything you tell Bible. us and you think is bullshit, Jay, I won't be like, no, nah, that's not right. Because Wikipedia is Wikipedia. Ooh. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I right. mean, there's a lot of this stuff on here, but I think and most, I'm not sure. Most... I know he's actually pulled up other tabs, not just Wikipedia, because we don't go off this well, whole fucking link or source. It's bullshit. You know, most people, 20 people. Most people would probably I mean, they think of witches. They they think of what they've seen in cinema, or they think of like the Salem witch trials, right. which is the, the the big one that everybody thinks of thinks about where people were. Things weren't going great for anybody, and they were looking for a scapegoat. So they're like, hey, you're fucking weird. Let's burn you. <laughs> yeah, let's, well, fuck, let's blame it on that's you. That's exactly kind of you know, how it yeah. started. They yeah. would find um, an outcast in the in the village, be them an old lady, you know, somebody who you know just has a- The old crone. Nasty, exactly, the or nasty- Or sometimes it's the hot lady. You just want to look for the mark. <laughs> right. Or uh, That's what I'm talking about. That's the shit I get from movies. But or, what's you know, real? You what had is real for- Right. You had independent women back then who had money. They had property. The church wanted it. Someone else in the village wanted it. Hey, she's a witch. But how can you, you tell? You can't tell. Oh, no, the they, uh, they totally made up. There's so many ways that are not good for you to find out. Right. <laughs> right. Probably in water, being tied to stones, being smashed down by stones. Torture. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Add right. more weight. Fuck yeah, right. man. 
And a uh, fun fact, there were six men that were also convicted and executed, did not know that. In Salem yes. or in the world? Because Salem. The, okay, oh, yeah, no. the Salem, we'll get to definitely that. We, in uh, Europe. In Europe, men, it was, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> quite a lot more that than was, that. That was a whole lot more than that. And that was uh, about 80,000 suspected yes. witches were put to death in Europe between 1500 and 1660. Yeah. So, you know, the Europeans were not fucking around. <laughs> Well, like they never do. The was it the Mali? What's it called? Mali Maleficus Maleficus the Malefic Harem. God damn! And that's the, yeah, witches, the hammer of witches. That's the hammer of the witches. Yeah. God, that pretty much really fucking sealed a lot of well, people's you fate. Know, you had um, that in the Bible. Thou right, shalt right. not suffer a witch. Written in Exodus or whatever yeah. the fuck it is, which was, of course, you know, translated by King James, who was a flaming homosexual. Yeah, mm. but he, was he open? That'd be cool if he was. No, no, no. that's the problem. It's always the fucking problem, right. Jeffrey Dahmer. Just be yourself. You maybe want to fucking, you know. He just wanted somebody Sorry. to watch Exorcist 3 with him. <laughs> well, that's the cool part about Jeffrey Dahmer. Well, and Exorcist it ends right there. It's actually a good movie. Oh, it's a great movie. Oh, hell yeah, it yeah. is. Uh, so go ahead a little bit. Just, yeah, I mean, you get a little, little bit further. Um, you know, from what I'm, from what I'm seeing, there was... And I think Connecticut was the first place to actually execute an, uh, an American witch, since we are in the U.S., so we're going to obviously focus on that a little bit, Yes, uh, which I didn't know, because um, I actually went to Salem, uh, Massachusetts last year during October, and I wasn't, we were, uh, the, uh, the people I went with, we, we were not there for being tourists. We wanted right. to know the real stuff. We wanted to go to, the, the, you know, we didn't want to so go to the hot topic witch shops. So you didn't go to Salem. You went to Danvers. Well, see, that's just that's it. Yeah, where Salem Village actually, and was, it's we did not get to go there. We yes. did not get to actually go there because our the way we were, the way the way the city works, at least where we were there. I mean, you can just walk to everything. Right. We had a set amount of days, and plus edibles are legal, so it took us a minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, <laughs> a few hours. The whole time. It doesn't look that far. Three hours later. Okay, are we there yet? <laughs> Let's stop and get some coffee uh, and, and, and something and, to eat. We did. We found a lot of fantastic shops. Uh, we found one witch wand shop that looks just like the one they were ripping off for the Harry Potter visuals. Right. And the person who's working there, like, honey, yeah, this is it. I mean, it's. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was beautiful. Uh, that we so we really sought out all the little places that meant something. And like the uh, was it Proctor's uh, the the place where they have a memorial for all the witches mm -hmm. and it, the places like Seven Gable House. We went there. Yep. Our uh, our Airbnb was literally a block away. Nice. From that. Uh, and it was a fantastic place. If you have not visited, I have not been to Salem, but you I will, baby. I've been to New Orleans. Yeah, I've never been to Salem. I heard that's a fantastic city for witchcraft and and the like as well. Yes. But uh, I don't know. It was it's fantastic to know about, or at least be told. I'm I'm a layman, right? The history. I, yeah, I'm not going to act like I'm an expert. I'm not going to. Oh yeah, I, I totally was into that. It's like, yeah, I, I liked the craft, man. And, and you know what? I liked fucking East, which is if East Wing. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking ago, about. I had no interest in this whatsoever. Really? Yeah. And you just, how, did it, it. how did it find you? Okay. Uh, well, it actually did find me. Um, I um, Jack Nicholson, Cher, Susan Sarandon, right? <laughs> Every time. Um, I, I got invited by um, a couple who um, I have been friends. Well, I was friends with him, but uh, not with his wife. And they invited me to go to the Nick Cave show. She had just, they'd had three tickets. Even though she'd never met me, she just came up with the idea. How to, long ago was this? A little over six years ago, actually. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And um, so invited me to to the uh, Nick Cave show. Uh, he was a little late um, meeting us, so she and I went ahead into the restaurant and we sat down, started talking. It was like I had known her my entire life. Like we just hit it off so perfectly. And a little while later, she invited me to attend one of their uh, pagan um, circles. So I did. And I went. Now, mind you, I grew up Catholic, so I'm used to the ritual and everything, the candles, the incense, and all that. Ditto. Yeah. And I just felt like I, I don't want to use the term. I came home, you know, I, I I was home or something like that. But it was like that spiritual emptiness because you know I grew up Catholic, but hey, I'm an atheist, and I just felt that spiritual hole being filled by the music playing, the incense, the ritual, and everything. I was like, this is what I've been looking for. So I kept going and kept going, and a little over a year after that, um, I was initiated into gardenerian craft, and boom, here I am. Wow. Yes. So that's my origin story. That's great. My origin story is Catholic, Baptist, atheist. <laughs> in that order. I studied pretty much, I studied religion for about 10 years. Started when I was in 
God, I want to say eighth grade. It was just something I played around with. Father and then, Steve. Yeah, I just, uh, I got really confused early on. And uh, and I, I had a friend who was a Baptist. He was a, I was a black Baptist. And people were like, oh, it's racist. Like, no, no, there's a big difference. Like, I've been to Korean Baptist church. I've been to, and, and it, it's funny. It's like a whole other culture going to these places. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. But my first experience in the Baptist church was, a black Baptist church. I mean, I was the only cracker. It was great. And I was like, this is a fucking party. <laughs> How am I missing out? You know, that that's... Which is different from a white Baptist church. Because I've right. been to... My, a friend of mine was a deacon and he was like, hey, come with me. And I was like, well, this, this is not the same thing. Where's the food? <laughs> well, it's like, you Fuck. know, doing the ghost hunting, I would study all these multiple religions because you're going into different people's houses. You don't know what they do. You don't know how they worship and you don't know if it might be something religious related. And so I studied Judaism and Satanism and, and of course Wicca and all that, but it really, you know, it didn't seem like anything I was interested in until I actually participated in it. Yeah. I think whenever I was interested in Satanism, I had a small group and we really, really got into it. I think mine was really coming from a dark place, so it wasn't going to be good in any way. Yeah. And uh, I remember was there was like a, what's the, uh, what's the Samuel Jackson's like a moment of, uh, of clarity. I'm right. like, wait a second. This is some textbook movie, whatever bullshit I'm getting. <laughs> this is not real. Bring in the pig. It was still the eighties. I was, I was still like in middle school. And uh, yeah, we didn't have access to real shit. And it was just a bunch of angry kids who just wanted to not hurt anything or anyone. Piss off your parents. Uh, maybe rebellion. That's, that's, that's fucking what's dancing, going on. baby. That's eighty eight. That's whatever. what's going on right now with like the little and I hate they this term, but baby witches on TikTok and, and yeah. you know, things like that. You know, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Don't just, you know, jump right into it. Wait, are you gatekeeping? Is that, is that oh, the- oh, that term. No, it's okay. I well, there's actually, difference I, between saying I, I like actually, Metallica and I like old Metallica. I actually made a Twitter post about this not too long ago. It's not called gatekeeping. It's called saving your asses. Oh, wow. Yeah, because don't work with energy. Don't try to summon up something that you can't control. Right. And I, I mean, and, so I mean I'm coming from an atheist. <laughs> I, I, I have no faith. I have no, I, I, but I'm also being considered like, I believe in ghosts. It's a weird thing yeah. to not believe in deities. I understand, uh, at least, okay, for me, I, I feel like there's an energy, always an energy around it. Right. That I've had too many experiences but with my family, mm-hmm. my personal family that has never stopped. And now my kids are going through this personal thing because we've realized, at least ourselves, we believe like people can be haunted. Oh, absolutely. So something happened when I was in elementary school with my, with my sister and my family it had a seance. I mean, like family, like cousins, right. uncles, sitting around my the table, parents. everybody holding hands. And was, I don't know how serious it was because they left me sleeping on my top bunk. But <laughs> ever since that night, my whole life has been really strange with um, occurrences and visitations, whatever. Uh, I'll be, I mean, when my, when my daughters, I raised both my daughters, uh, especially my young, my oldest one for a time. And I hear somebody screaming in the room like, you didn't tell Vanessa that she's like, no. It's like you don't tell your friends what's going to happen to them if they hang out and stay the night at your house. That's just that's how normal it was for us to be to to experience things. Right. But I'm still I'm still concerning myself. I guess maybe I'm a hard agnostic. What, what do you call this? I don't I don't like labels. No, I, you're you're a you're a non skeptical agnostic. How's that? That's found. Okay, cool. Yes. Dave? Now, <laughs> oh, I've got nothing. No, go I, ahead. I, I, what lay into me? What I don't made know. me mad was I know, like here, scary movies. Here I am, a ghost hunter. And I live in Old Louisville. And of course, I live in the only apartment in Old Louisville that's not fucking haunted. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, tell me. I got gypped, really. For people who do not know it, we uh, in Louisville has one of the largest Victorian housing districts in, I think, America? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's saying something. You're in the only one that's not a fucking... Like, these are old Victorian yeah. mansions that are turned and, into like, and, apartment complexes. At least nine out of ten of them have a ghost story to them and yeah. of course i live in the only building that doesn't yeah when i went uh apartment shopping downtown i was like every time you walk in you're like somebody fucking died in here yeah, <laughs> yeah. those foyers welcome to, are amazing welcome to Old Louisville. oh yeah. the houses are beautiful absolutely yeah. beautiful well let's 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 move on a little bit oh you want to talk about movies to the movies <laughs> we do that sometimes oh it's okay just keeping on pace for well, the witch movies where most people will know witches Witches. We've got the history. Let's let's go right into it. Well, let me uh, throw something in real fast. Oh, please do. Now, you today you have um, a lot of imagery, and I talked about this in one of my episodes on uh, YouTube. Uh, 
about the the old green skin crone looking witch. Yeah. The first time you ever actually saw that in a movie was in The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they took advantage of it being in Technicolor by making Margaret Hamilton green. It almost killed her, didn't it? Or yeah. Did, like something well, happened. She caught fire. Whoa, I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, wait. Are you, in the, in the scene with that. the smoke and everything. Okay, yeah. yeah. Her dress caught fire. She got third degree burns over uh, a good portion of her body. Jesus. And she's play, kind of played that role a couple of other times. I've seen her in the movies playing yeah. the witch. Yeah. That's uh, that's terrifying. Can you imagine that? Being the yeah, first Mr. witch Rogers on. Rogers and um, in um, 13, the original 13 Ghost. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, being on fire would not be fun. No. Ask, ask Kane Michael Hodder. Jackson. Kane Hodder. Oh, all day. We're evil. Oh, and Michael damn. Jackson. Wait, you can't ask Michael Michael Kane Hodder. <laughs> uh, so we'll go to the movies. We, we touched on. Well, let's touch on. Like, yeah, we're yeah gonna, Haxon. We, we seem to have talked about a lot of these already in, in yeah. uh, past episodes, but definitely like Haxon's number one. Oh, Haxon's a great movie. I mean, it, it, it's, it's sensational as hell for its time, but the way it was put together, filmed, yeah. editing, everything, it's Gorgeous. That's a three hundred thousand, three hundred million dollar movie now. If yeah, it, what they were able to accomplish with in the during the silent era, and then Burroughs did some smack and redid it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, hacks and everyone. Uh, we've we've touched upon that on the very beginning of our Satanic Panic episode. So if you get a chance, check out that movie. Um, I actually just kind of zipped through so many of these because, like I said, we've. We've touched upon them, and this, I know this is the witch episode, but we're going to get to more of a contemporary witches, but I've got Haunted Hotel. That's, you know, and most people know that from the Misfits song. Right. <laughs> it's a great fucking movie. It's got uh, Christopher Lee in it. Mm -hmm. Haunted Palace is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank God. So, I don't know if any of you have well, seen I kind of just thought it's about been, it. It's been years since I've seen that movie. This, um, go ahead. You, no, you go ahead. All right, well, okay. The thing about the Haunted Palace is that it, I remember it... My mom showed it to me, and because it was Edgar Allan Poe, and it's right. not. It's actually Lovecraft. Yeah. But the title is from Edgar Allan Poe, but the story is The Case of Charles Dexter Ward. Mm -hmm. Vincent Price is fantastic. And uh, it, well, let me insert something real please. fast. There is rumor that Vincent Price was a witch. Mm. I have one of his audio books on vinyl. I have, I have, I have that record. It's so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's so fucking good. And it, it, the way he goes through that entire recording, yeah. I'm like, this guy knows his shit either an initiated witch wrote this or he knows this shit. Yeah. Dave, can you look that up while we're bullshitting? I don't know. I, I've, I've heard that and it, it's so obvious that I'm kind of like, oh, there's no, it's just a gimmick. He kind of played it up. I mean, you know, he's in, he's in Scooby-Doo movies as a witch, right. you know, well, they're there. And Agnes Moorhead was rumored to be a witch as well. Wow. That's Even awesome. Though she played one, you know? Yeah. Um, but the haunted palace. Okay. The, uh, it's a, it's an Edgar, it's Edgar Allan Poe, Title with a Lovecraft story, the case of Charles Dexter Ward. Which you don't know the story. If you've seen the movie The The Resurrected with Chris Sarandon, it's the remake of this. And this 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 movie has been remade. This story has been remade so many times. Uh, where Vincent Price is kind of in this. It's more like a curse instead of like him being re regenerated in the story. But this one is like he takes on the aura and the soul. I don't know if it's soul or not, but of his past present, and he becomes his you know homicidal maniac guy and it's 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 fucking pure lovecraft it's yeah. it has everything that you think about lovecraft except for cosmic horror which is kind of strange because that's in, in the story right there's no cosmic horror cthulhu but it's 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 slight it's in there slightly it's just not in there as much as you would think when you think of lovecraft now and i've also it's got the people, other self it's got the other you know the the other soul the dark soul yeah the dark half, yeah less gent less uh less tentacles there's hardly any. I don't think there's any in this film because, I mean, it was 63. I give it a three out of five tentacles. <laughs> three out of five skulls. Uh, I'm just going to jump all the way up to Suspiria. Uh, the original or the remake? I like them both. They're both amazing. They both have, they both, they both have, you know, they both have their, uh, their good points, but I you can't go wrong with the original. Okay. As, um, as far as the film is concerned, the film is amazing. What from a witch perspective when you watch how much how, how many how many groans do you go on like uh, or the other way <sighs> and is Vincent Price a witch? I, I'm not seeing anything about it. Vincent Price may be a witch. Somebody somebody needs to comment on our YouTube channel for us. <laughs> I, I, yes, indeed. Um, I would say the original. I give it probably. <laughs> there might be the occasional uh, in there, but you know it's it's a beautiful movie. 
And yeah. of course, the remake it has Tilda Swinton in it, who I love, and she could read the phone book, and I would love it. Yeah, her and it would dual be role in that film. I didn't even know that her she was the old man. She played three roles in that. Oh, movie. three roles, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't know she was the old man until the credits rolled, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Holy fuck!" I well, should have read my she, magazine. I, I love her to death. death. She's kind of manly. I don't. I don't know. I think she's so. She's so wayful. Well, she was in or- Orlando as. Yeah. yeah so. I understand. Well, I mean, she's played Bob Leonard. Dylan. Yes, very true. Fantastic. And she's, uh, uh, David Bowie. Oh, my God. You're right. Yeah. She's so good. Uh, and, and I think what's great now is that she only does roles she wants to do. She's pretty right. much retired and she only comes out. Which is like um, Only Lovers Left Alive. Yeah. One yeah. of my favorite. That's in my top 10 horror movies. Yeah. And she's amazing in that. Uh, but yeah, that's the, that's the remake of Suspiria. If you've heard a lot of bad things about it, that's from people who obviously either don't love the, the original as much as you, they claim, because I think that if anything, he's done a good thing by not remaking it. Yeah. It's, it's not just shot adding shot. on, just adding it's, on to it. It's not like the psycho remake. No, it's not. And, and it, the ending is just like orgasmic, obviously. Holy mm. shit. I don't even want to spoil it for anybody. Uh, yeah, so they people should definitely watch that. <laughs> oh, go ahead. No, no, no. no uh, I've, I, you can watch The Exorcist, which was filmed in the same time period of of Suspiria. You know, actually mm, three years earlier, mm-hmm. and then you can watch Suspiria remake and the uh, the texture of the film. If you want to be a film nerd about it, uh, the everything about that movie you don't even know it's made in 2016. No, uh, and I love I love so movies far. Like that. Yeah, they, they went so far into being like, you know, you watch a 50s movie or a movie's supposed to be in the 50s and all the cars are 1957. It's like, that's not reality. It's, it's 30s, like 1930 clunker running around. Or I, nobody I, had I used the same argument you know. between Chinatown and the two Jakes. Mm. To me, Chinatown is a 30s movie made in the 70s. The two Jakes is a 30s movie made in the 30s. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> if you don't know what you're talking about, it's uh, those are Roman Polanski films with Jack Nicholson. And, uh, not the second one. <laughs> yeah, Jack Nicholson directed the second one. Yeah, uh, and and they, he made a sequel that most people don't talk about because it's not very good, <laughs> but it's pretty. It is pretty. Uh, I've got Inferno, which is the sequel to Suspiria, which I know you've heard me rant about. That I think you think is a superior film in all ways. You can hate me all you want. I don't care. Halloween three. We, hate, hate me some more. No, we, we talked about that last. Yeah, week. we 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 really peeled that apart on the last episode. But it's a it's an it's an interesting slant because it's all it's druid magic. Right, yeah. Druids yeah. can druids steal uh, Stonehenge without anybody noticing? I know. I, I gotta know. I, I is there honestly, a spell for that? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, that, that's, pull out the book. I, I'm sorry, that's Southbound. <laughs> okay. Right, Southbound. <laughs> there is a spell to magically disappear at Stonehenge. Great. Now we know. I guess because we had a devil of a Titan community here. You wouldn't believe it. You know, that's that that's that's from the line to Carla Cochran. Yeah. Uh what else? I have ghoulies up there, because damn it, that's the first one's how it starts. It's yeah. fucking magic. Yep. <laughs> that's a it's groaner. Not, it's not witchcraft per se, but yeah, it's a, he's like he's like he's a warlock and he looks really cool oh, and spooky. Oh warlock. Yeah, I'm, I've got which, up there. which which originates from the term oathbreaker. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I didn't so, know that. Like the sword? So Modern modern dude witches like myself, we don't like the term. Well, I don't, and most of the people I know don't like the term warlock because it, at its basis, it comes from the old word for oathbreaker. I never knew that. Yeah. That's awesome. Huh. I'm it's, glad you're here to tell us of these things. <laughs> uh, ghoulies, man. I've got ghoul, ghoulies. You can't deny ghoulies. Groovy? Man. Groovy ghoulies? No. It's just, just, just no. One, the ghoulies. They're monsters in toilets. That's People kind of forget that the first film is much like the first Hellraiser film where the ghoulers are not much. In, they're not really in that the film that much. Uh, it's all about this warlock being resurrected by an ancestor, very much like a Lovecraft film we just talked about. And then it just took on a life of its own. Right. And then, of course, he's like, wait a second. I'm, I'm in charge. He's like, no, 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 dummy. You resurrected me. I am in charge. I love that. That happens a lot of movies. It's like, yeah. well, I, I, I conjure it's, these. It's the Frankenstein complex. Right. You don't own, no one owns anybody, buddy. Yeah. Here's for you. <laughs> oh, nice salt on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> How quaint. <laughs> right? Uh, I never understood that, but I, is that a real thing? Is that, have you, or is that just a, a, a film gimmick, putting salt in a circle to protect yourself? That is, that by is the way. a way of protection is, is salt. Legitimate. Okay. Yes. I did not know that. Yes. I just seen it so many times. I was like, yes. okay, where's the salt? Is it sea salt? I mean, seriously. Yeah. Consecrated sea salt. No shit. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> I'm learning. Wait, I've consec- learned more about witchcraft so in the last 10 minutes. So it has yeah. to be consecrated. consecrated. Yes. Consecrated. Yes. Can't just pull the. Uh... Concentrate or consecrated? Concentrate. I heard both. 
as long as it's not constipated. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> moving on. You got the Witches of Eastwick. You better goddamn Robin. Mean, you aren't going to bring that movie up. Well, yeah. Every time I watch that, I want a nice, cold white sin. Whoa. Yeah. I it gets me in touch with my inner inner girl. Okay. No, I'm, I'm joking. I just I, want to play a violin and fuck Susan Sarandon. Well, that's <laughs> now Tuesday night. Uh, she's still good. I don't care. Yeah. Fuck it. I haven't seen Witches of Eastwick since like the 90s, so I'm out on this one. Yeah. Okay. So you've not seen The Witches of Eastwick? Oh, I haven't seen it since the 90s. Oh, well, let me help you. Jack Nicholson's the devil. Because, you know, witches apparently worship the devil. No, is that don't. a thing? <laughs> yeah. You don't. No, we don't. Okay, thank the you. The devil doesn't exist. That, uh, thank that, you. There is no such thing as the Christian devil. It, it was taken by the Catholic Church, the, the horned god that pretty much 99% of Wiccans, if not more, worship was taken by the Catholic Church, just like they took all the pagan sites and all that, turned them into churches. Most of the churches in Europe are built on pagan sites. Pagan sites. Well, I mean... That, pagan that, sites of worship, I should say. That makes sense. The uh, the uh, the Christians just taking something and ruining it for everybody. Yeah. This is why we can't have nice things, Jesus. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ah, uh, so... so oh, anyway, so he's the devil, he's, and obviously they don't worship the devil, but in this movie, he... he Makes them witches, which is strange. Yeah, because I guess is that like that's like the male empowerment of like I'm the dude you worship my dick, which is the, the whole movie. By, movie, by the way, mm -hmm. apparently he's got a nice squirmy dick, yeah, and uh, <laughs> that's what that's what Cher says. Oh. <laughs> so it's Susan Sarandon, Michelle Pfeiffer, and uh, and Susan I'm and, and, and Cher. Jack Nicholson's wang, right? And he basically fucking pressures them into having sex with him and becoming witches, and they become all powerful, and then everything goes bad. It's got some pretty cool special effects, like but, you do, yeah. <laughs> It's definitely light and fluffy movie fun just to sell Cher and Nicholas. You know, I almost said Nicholas Cage. <laughs> we, should, we talked about him earlier. I don't want that wang either. No, oh, yes, you do. Uh, let's see what else is up there. You can't Fucking find it for the hair. Kevin Tenney's Witch Board. And then he made a sequel called Witch Trap. Uh, this is the same guy who made Night of the Demons, uh, which is a fantastic film. We talked about it in depth, regardless of how much people liked it or didn't like it in this group. I fucking love that movie. Uh, but Witch Board? Eh. Not so much. I'm the best thing, you know, Tony Katane's chest, I mean. Yeah, she yeah. does a shower scene. Yeah. I'm That's telling you, I went back and watched some of these movies, and I realized how much I hate witch movies. I don't. Oh, I, you told me that okay. before we started. Like, let me put it to you this way. If you were to actually make a real witch movie, it would be the most boring thing you've ever watched in your life. Have you not seen Witchboard? It It's more boring than that. If oh. you want a good witch movie... Go watch a documentary. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, because, you know, it's what we do. You know, we work with energy. We work with magic and et cetera, et cetera. But you're not going to see any hocus pocus, broomstick flying and none of that shit. Sorry, folks. I wonder how the fuck that started. Is there any, do you have any clue? I, I do. Okay. Uh, broomsticks because during. You say Wizard of Oz? Wizard of Oz. Can't be, but where did they get it from? Like, this is the uniform. Put it on. Well, Bed knobs and broomsticks. That's way later. And I love that yeah, movie. We'll get to that one. Right? Um, and like fighting Nazis. <laughs> right. And well, going back to historical times during the um, festivals, the Sabbaths, et cetera, et cetera, um, they would ride broomsticks around the fire to, you know, raise energy to dance and. Et cetera, et cetera, um, to you know, give praise to the horn god, Lady of the Moon, and that's just where that stuck from. Hmm. So that's how they got the idea of witches riding brooms through the sky. No, just you know, just riding them to, you know, imitate uh, you know, phallic symbol, et cetera, et cetera. Oh yeah, the old maypole. Yep. Which I want to touch upon. We having we we skipped over it. It's Wicker Man. Yeah, uh, I, was say. I didn't even see it on the board. And I was because like, it's Wait. one of those movies. It's like in the back of my. It's like. Tattooed in my soul, if I had one, and it's like I just didn't think about oh, it. Lord, I just heaven. know it so well. I love it. The movie so much. Uh, as best, much as I best, love that movie. Most, best motion movie soundtrack ever. Right? Oh, oh absolutely. Shit. Yeah. And now, it's like a two hour music video for pagan music. And it's not all dolled up. It's not. Nope. You know, there's that no is, there's no hot topic in this movie. No, no, it is. It it's is really dirty. It, it's to me, it's more of a pagan movie than a witch movie. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. There's no, I there's no way magic. I would there's not no, know how to describe that, it. but there, it's, it's, a, it's a pagan movie. It's, a, it's a, you know, it's celebrating pagan life, sacrificing for the harvest. Well, right, I, exactly. Uh, I bought the uh, uncut 
wooden box edition when it came out. And uh, they thank the the island of Summer Isle in the film mm-hmm. in the credits at the beginning. So I, I always I never had a chance to even look look it up. But how much of that influence, like what the real story there is, if that film is. And it sucks because I didn't look it up. <laughs> right. Well, there, there's a fantastic Facebook group on the Wicker Man um, where they post a lot of behind the scenes. People uh, make uh, pilgrimages to filming locations. Yeah. I mean, that movie is so, lo- I love it. It's, it's always going to be in my top five. Oh, it's definitely, and, and I guess I couldn't see which It's probably one of anymore, Christopher but, Lee's yeah. best role. It, 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 people would ask him what his favorite role was, Lord Summer Isle. He will always say that. It's so out of his box. He's this normal guy. He's he's, he's not even menacing. He's, he's the Lord of the Manor. He's so everyone in this film is, is is weird and dark and fucked up. This movie is nothing happens for an hour and a half. Yeah, and slow then it's burn. it's just a beautifully huh? so shot seventy slow burn. Right, and yeah. there's some great nude shots. That the it's all great about music. their culture. Yeah, that whether it's real or not, but it's it's the culture of this island that these people who are growing their their crop is apples, and it's failed the year before. So what they've done, and we're gonna spoil this movie, but you need to see it anyways. Not the remake is no, watch um, the remake. Bees, well, I have not the watched the remake, so maybe I need to watch the remake. But uh, is that they have de- they come up with this whole plot to get this virgin who's like. Al, uh, Edward Woodward, who the equalizer. Yeah, I was gonna say, as we were kids, I'm glad Jade's close to my age. He was a badass in the TV show, The Equalizer. He wasn't a badass in this movie. He's a jackass. He's a piece of shit, and he, really he represents everything that whoever uh, I forgot. I cannot remember the person who wrote this fucking movie. Uh, that represents everything that's wrong with male dominant Christian bullshit. I don't mean like if you're a Christian, it's Anthony and, Schaefer. Ah, fantastic. Thank you, thank you Dave. Uh, and from the very beginning of the movie, before he even gets to the thing, he's just above everyone. He's not going to have sex with his fiance, which is, you know, whatever. It's fine. But he doesn't even allow her to see the book, the Psalms book. Is that he's, he's singing proudly. Right. And he symbolizes he, everything he, wrong. He talks down to the with, entire village. Before he gets there. Right. He wants to make sure that they understand that not only is he. He's in charge. He's the policeman. Not, it's not just because he's a policeman. It's because he's a policeman and he's a Christian. Yes. And a willing king-like virgin fool. Yes. Right. And he falls. They, they devise this whole plan to get this old virgin who has to come willingly to their town. So they act like this. They, one of their flock has gone missing. It's a young girl. He comes there to investigate. Rowan. And he and everyone's just playing along. Ingrid Pitt, who if you know who that is, she's a goddess in the horror genre. Um, she has a very small role in this movie, which I'm kind of pissed me off as a kid because it's, I'd seen her in not that librarian. small. No, she's she. No, she's not the librarian. Yeah, she is a librarian. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she's still a very small role. Yeah. Uh, if anything, it goes the the big the larger role is the teacher. I would think yes. that that would have been the role for her. The phallic symbol. Right, it's great. The maypole. And the, I, I love, love all that. that song. Every every time I hear it, it's like I just I, you have to sing along with it. All of the songs, yes. and then it builds up, builds up, and he he finally tells him he's leaving. He realizes that he think he thinks he's being taken for but then he finally puts it all together but they want him to put it together mm-hmm. they they it's one of those films like how the how the fuck he they... finds the girl she she she's leading him away yeah and then boom leads him right back but to he people. gets the costume that they need him to get i mean that's all movie yeah, magic he's shit. in the full costume right and, and he at the beginning of the film they he basically has explained to him what's going to happen to him and like uh, one of the commentaries on the disc I have is like, this is one of the worst cops ever because he can't figure out shit. It's right there in front of his face. What's going to happen to this motherfucker? What? And he's just like, um, nope, I'm dumb and Jesus cop. This is like, that's what he, that's his whole thing. Jesus cop. Right. I mean, Gabriel brought it up on our satanic panic episodes. Like Mickey Rourke saying, I'm from Brooklyn. It's like, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn. All the all this black religion shit. I don't get it. And he's like, this is the this is the same thing. Just twenty years, ten, 10 years later, or whatever. He's like, I, I, I'm 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 the Christian police. What's wrong with you all? Mm-hmm. How dare you teach your children all this love and affection and shit? Yeah, it's all this really dirty strange. pagan, right? And oh, he, and he keeps throwing it in their face, and yeah. they're, it's they're the, they're the happiest fucking people on the planet. Yes, and they're they're prosper oh, other than you know the apples. Uh, yeah, you know, they're gonna they, die they, except that year before, but they're fixing that right. slowly but surely. Get in the basket. And that's the thing is that you're right. Rowan leads him leads him to the shore, and then they're always waiting for him. Yeah, he's like, the sacrificial king. It's so fantastic, and of course he gets he 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 gets led up into the wicker man, which is this like. Final five story fucking monstrosity made out of wood just for it's him to pretty like, with animals. But the horrific part of this film happens when they are just happy as fuck. Yeah, they're singing, singing their ass they're singing in the sun, and he is screaming, burning alive. They're like, Oh, merciful God in heaven, right? And then 
there's a part that I did not notice when I watched it, when I first bought the disc, but I watched it, I rewatched it this week, is that he literally curses them. Uh huh. Yes. As he's dying. like, what kind of what? The, how? What? The, what's As going on here, buddy? <laughs> I thought you were the good guy. That was a good exchange, though, at the end between him and Christopher Lee. Like, oh, this is going to be you next time, right? Oh yeah. When your crop dies, when it doesn't work, this will be you. Nope. He's like, nope. You're the one we're burning. Yeah, I mean, what, how 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 fortuitous to, to find a virgin that old who is that willing? Everything has worked perfectly. So yeah. in their belief system, Meant to it's be. perfect. It's mm-hmm. fucking perfect. I mean, just Wicker shows, Man, everyone shows up on the silver platter, and then you get to the Nicholas Cage version of Wicker Man. You can lay it on me because I've seen. Oh, I'm it. sorry. Did he remake that? I didn't know that. Bees. I, I just know. pretend. I, I, know. I pretend it doesn't just exist. Bees. It's a, you have to watch it. If, no. you, if you've never seen it and you're a fan of the original, you may not like it. You won't like it. But you it. know what? If you like Nicolas Cage and what he's done for everybody, you should you should watch it. What I like Nicolas Cage. What has he done for you lately? He, for me lately, I saw The Color Out of Space. Bum, and that made me happy. And Mandy. Mandy. I, I will give him Color Mandy. Out of Space. We're going to do a whole episode I mean, on Nicolas Cage one day. Yeah, we're going to have oh. to. I mean, I'm going to come back fan. for Wild that. Heart is my favorite David Lynch Oh, film. yeah. Absolutely. So uh, we we uh we, we we talked about which board which trap which trap is the not even twelve not even it's actually a little bit better uh, sequel to which board uh, Kevin Tenney the same, uh, returned this one has Lene quickly doing her shower scene which is way better by the way than Tony Katain in my opinion uh, but she's not on the screen very long uh, I mean it's not a, it's very poltergeist if you just take out all the fat they're just there to <laughs> investigate this was the, I, th- I think we <laughs> Sand Zelda. Yeah, and it's Neil. Of course, nobody wins. I think we sort of talked about that. This is where Linnea Quickly's career was. This, this was after Night yeah, of the was. Demon. She, yeah, so. uh, she, they put her face on the box, and of course, it's one of those things where she's barely in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks like she um, plays the videographer. Um, oh shoot, um, the Chainsaw, the Next Generation. Oh um, yeah, Renee Zellweger yeah, and, and uh, Matthew McConaughey. Thank you, thank you, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Oh my God! Yeah, they 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 tried to sync that film. Yeah, uh, because he he had done what was it Time to Kill? I think, and then uh, she had did Empire Records. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Which we're going to talk about Empire Records in a minute because we're going to get to the craft because mm-hmm. that movie it just that that there was is a sequel to that film. But let's let's wait. Wait, <laughs> Empire Records. This is. I never no, 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 not, not Empire Records. Oh. We're talking about the craft. Oh, yeah. So, we can, we can, I've got Pumpkinhead up there. You got Warlock. Let's not Warlock. Uh, let's Warlock, not. Warlock has one of the best, funniest scenes ever. Where it's the little kid. He finds out the kid's unbaptized, and he's oh, yeah. just, and it's just that smile on Julian and he Sands' starts face. Shaking. He's like, like pushing him, going <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because he asks him in this yeah. scene, "What does it make? What's it take for you to fly?" Right, the fat of a child in the film. Yeah. Uh, should we go through this real quick? I mean, I do like this movie. Please I really do it. I love this movie. The, this first, movie. the first time I saw this movie, I was on vacation with my parents. And, uh, Fuck, it was, Dave. I think it was like, I think it was, it was 80, 80. It was, no, the movie came out in 89. So it was 1990. Yeah. It was actually made a few years before mm-hmm. because they, they dele- delayed the release. And I can't remember why, but I remember when they hit Fangory magazine, me and my nerd friends were really excited and they were like, it just didn't come out. And yeah. then it hit video. Go ahead. I knew nothing about it because I was 10. Fuck so, you. Wow. So I was at my great aunt and great uncle's farm, and they had the uh, they had the big satellite, you know, the one where you oh yeah, you like change, video, like a yeah, terror, like the terror vision, yeah, yeah, the terror vision <laughs> satellite, and it picked up the pay per view channels, and this movie was on, and it was halfway through it. I had no clue what it was, but you know, pay per view back then, it just showed the same fucking movie yeah. over and over. So I watched it two times in a row. God, what's her name? She's the star. She's also in Footloose. She's so fantastic, and I can't think of her Lori name. Laurie Singer. Yes, yes, thank you, Laurie Singer. Thank you. Uh, so she's the diabetic, and yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it has a plot. It's 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 a fun movie about a a guy who was wrongfully accused of horrible things, and he gets transported to the future. That's the warlock. Yeah, the warlock, and then who gets to follow him? Renfrin. Yeah, Ren, yes. Renfrin. Ren, 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 Renfrin. Hey, that's his name. Yeah, which is uh, what Richard am I? Grant. God, he's such he's so fantastic in this yes. film. This is the first the, movie I've the, seen him in. The unknown doctor. From yes. Doctor Who. Yes. Holy crap. Yes. See, I forgot about that. That's awesome. And I forgot you're a Who fan too. Yes. Yeah. And Julian Sands, I think, was actually up for the Doctor at one point too. He would have been perfect. It would have been good. I don't even watch Doctor Who, but I might have watched it with Julian Sands. I night. we used to do a Doctor Who night at the bar that I work at, our little movie bar, and yes. that's how I really got into it. I mean, I'd, I'd seen it on acid as a kid. 
Wednesday, Wednesday it was the Baker. Yeah. yeah, and it was all like the psychedelic shit they used to put in those episodes. And I was like, this is what this ass is for. Yeah, right? Doctor Who. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, so, uh, with, with our group, it was pretty much like Matt Smith. You know, yeah. After that, after that era. Yeah, so this is Warlock, this sorry. Movie, I, I, <laughs> oh, no. War, it's Warlock, and he gets chased through through time by the witch hunter. Witch hunter's not a, not a real thing. Right. No. Yeah, so. That's a thing. Not, not like, it's like a, a I fucking Hollywood better, trap uh, or even a story thing. It's like, I'm a witch hunter. It's like, really? <laughs> Pretty sure the Catholic Church does that. It's on my card. Well, actually, there was the Witchfinder Witchfinder General. General. Yeah, that's that. Matt Hopkins. uh, How the fuck did we not talk about the Conqueror Worm? Holy shit! Oh yes, with Vincent Price. Vincent Price. Thank you for bringing. Let's see how we come back around. Anyways, digress. Digress. (laughs) Back into Warlock. I guess. Well, we had to talk about the Conqueror Worm, but we'll get we'll get to that. If you haven't seen it. Watch it. Yes. Okay. It's, go it's ahead. Been surprised like, at all his campiness. Like Somebody out there is now going, now. "Thank you," because they were pulling their hair out. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you all? Yeah. <laughs> and, was, and, it, and the worst part is, it popped up when I was like, "Vincent Price, which question mark?" Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Warlock Julian Sands. Yeah. So so Julian Sands comes through time, and he's in 1991. Like you do. The yeah. land of spandex and. He speaks English, English. He speaks English, English. <laughs> yeah, I think he's he can do that because he's a witch. Is there a spell for that? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what is he looking for? He's looking for the grand grimoire because the devil told him to. Three, the devil, three of them. There's three of them. There's three. Three. Well, it's been two thirded. Three parts. It's yeah. Been thirded. Been thirded. 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 If you're gonna if you're gonna hide something, cut it into threes and hide them in remote places, sort of close. And write to it each down. Other. You gotta write, and it, write down. it down. Make sure you tell everybody. And uh, that's that's what this that's what happened. But because uh, in the in the Grand Grimoire, you can find the name of God, and you have to it's, it's yeah, say his, backwards. Real, his real name. Yeah, his, you have his, to, his yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah when yeah. I find out God's name, I'm just gonna be like literally like a fucking back back. <laughs> right. I'll just play the record backwards a few times, and it'll be really bad, Bob. It'll be like deathgasm. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, so go ahead, the, man. The, yeah, the warlock tears ass through uh, through through ninety one. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like I said, tears ass. And uh, oh, we forgot. Uh, you, we forgot. We forgot your girl, Laura Singer, uh, Cassandra with a K. Yeah, uh, because salt. Don't forget the whole salt. Yeah, angle. Well, that, yeah. That that's that's where we had to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. There's there's Cassandra lots of stuff the, I want to know. With a K. Because like uh, was it the rusty? Was it a, a copper nail? What rusty, rusty nail? nail? Rusty, rusty nail. Iron and, nail. Not, rusty iron nail. Not the drink. A rusty iron nail through through a footprint. Real or fake? Fake. Totally Shit. fake. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm just asking. That's some Pulper guy shit right know. there. That's some Toby Hoover made up crap. <laughs> what the fuck? So, so basically, the whole movie is Julian Sands as the warlock finding a piece of the book, and the witch hunter and Cassandra trying to find him, and they and get then close, they... and then he gets away, yeah. and then he gets another part of the book, and they get close, and he gets away, <laughs> and holy shit, he's got the whole book. There's this big epic fight. <laughs> There's this big epic fight, and he uses a. Uh, uh, what, it's a it's a weather vane. Yeah, weather vane. The vane. Where's my vane? Yeah, because they get he, it through fucking customs. Right. They get his knife through everything. It's hilarious. I love that. I love this. Hey, let's just suspend all disbelief. He right. fucking harpoons his ass and right. pulls him into the graveyard. So at one point, consecrated ground. My favorite part is actually when he meets the Mennonites because I didn't know what a Mennonite was. Some movies and you know they tell you things. I'm a schlite. Right, it is. It's the Amish people who can use uh, industrial equipment if they need to or whatever. And it's really weird. I didn't, I just like, what the fuck? I never knew. Anyway, that's my little thing. I, I like that whole. The only thing I know fight. about Amish is they make really, really nice furniture and baked goods and they're shitty to dogs. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. I a lot, a lot of people. Amish run puppy mills and they're not good to them. Oh, man. Yeah. I had some turtle soup from some Amish people once. That's well, okay. But, but, well, how do you know? Maybe they got turtle mills. Wasn't so good for the turtle. <laughs> good oh, me. God damn it. So, so uh, yeah, you said you see, he got he gets the book together. He's like, I know your name. And he's doing that Bond villain bullshit where he's just wasting time instead of doing it. And he fucking dies. You got to show off. And then that's they do it starting. again for another movie. They do it again they for did two, two more two movies. More movies. Yes, yeah. that's right. They did make a third. Yeah, this Warlock But Armageddon. Julian Sands wasn't in the third. He wasn't in, no, he was not in the third. No. It's the same guy who did the movies. Yeah, but he plays the same character in the second movie, but he is. No, it's not the same character. It's like a start over. For, the uh, End of Innocence. Yeah. That came out in 99. They were, they were reaching for straws then. Well, yeah. Julian Sands had done some really awesome shit. He did a movie called Boxing Helena. Boxing Helena. Right. Good so movie. good. Um, I like him in what was his What was his Byron movie? Uh, oh, Haunted uh, Summer? 
Uh, I remember Gothic. Yes. Okay. It was Gothic. Okay. Who did? There was Gothic and Haunted Summer. Same story. Different actors. I don't know. I, yeah. I've never seen a Haunted Summer. Because uh, Alex Winter is in um, one of them, but I can't. Must remember be which. Haunted Summer because he's yeah. not in Gothic. Gothic has like Gabriel Byrne. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. got some heavy, heavy actors, and it's the, about the weekend that Mary Shelley wrote the story Frankenstein. Right. And, and it, it talks about all of them: Lord Byron, Percy Shelley. Mm-hmm. It's a really good film. So a lot of people I actually know hate that film, and I think it's a fantastic. Oh, film. as far as I can remember. And it's been years since I've seen either one of them. They're both beautifully done movies. Yeah, that's what it's about. Goth, yeah. Gothic is a beautiful movie. It's not really a horror film. It's not really anything. It's just like it's a, a suspense movie. It's a gothic drama that's dark. Yeah. And it's time to tell a story about the a fanciful version of The weekend that all those people kind of came up with those stories. Mm-hmm. That if you know anything about that, you should check it out because that's, that's a really fascinating story about how that group of people went on to write all these amazing books and, and novellas okay anyways back to this and uh, john polidori was there too yeah yeah it's a really awesome weekend like movie but it's not it should have been a slasher movie <laughs> it's been awful <laughs> yes with scooby gothica <laughs> scooby doo yeah meddling kids so you, go, you, 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 you were talking about which finder general oh, man yes okay Matt, okay, Matt also, also known as the conqueror worm yes are we talking about the movie or the person you know what? Well, you can do both. Either. Well, either. The person, I I uh, Matt Hopkins, movie. basically, he got um, permission to uh, find one witch in this village. And he took that permission slip, pretty much. Of course. At, like you do. You have a hall and pass? He, and he just went crazy in in around lo- in lower southern England. Oh, you said one. I thought he meant 1,000. No, no, no. He, <laughs> hundreds. Hundreds. Oh, I'm just joking. But God damn. have hundreds and hundreds of... Uh, people, including a, a priest, um, hung for witchcraft. Hung, burned. Yeah. Why weren't wow. they punching his card? And like, he finally, no oh, shit, man. Only got one, dude. This is the worst books a million fucking he, card ever. He finally got it in the end because he got tuberculosis and died. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. Devil did it. Yep. <laughs> and the movie uh, looks like, uh, so you said uh, we got. Oh, he's a real piece of shit it? in the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a really dark film. I remember I was going from Hammer Films and Roger Corman films, and then I found this movie, and it's not anything like them. It's very raw shot. It's not, there's no, it's not like fanciful colors. It's none it's of that. It's like one of those he made in a weekend. Maybe. It, yeah. it, it does feel very raw, and it's like um, the cinematography is just really more handheld it's just a rough kind of movie and it makes you feel that way mm-hmm. it feels it feels makes me feel kind of icky and dirty when yeah, i watch you want it to go take a, a shower after you've watched it it's really one of those films yeah i've, ne- I've never seen this one and i want Conquer to see Warm? it now. oh you definitely should. yeah i've never yeah. seen it that conquer Warm, is... also known as witchfinder general yeah. uh, check it out but i love calling it conquer Warm because it just sounds like i think that's the edgar Allan poe story yeah. uh, uh name as well, well that's so they what they were still with, they were taking that. names from yeah. Poe movies and just yeah um, I've got Pumpkinhead up there. I've got yeah. the beginning of the witchcraft movies, which they're woof. Witchcraft. They're basically softcore porn. Just cool much. with uh, witch boobs. I just don't know. Witch boobs. Witch boobs. And not like the hardcore lesbian like uh, 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 films that I Wait, uh, you mean enjoy Witch too. House? No. Those, well, that, that's, 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 witch House is actually directed by David Ticato, who did, uh, I think, um, what else? Goddamn. He did Creepazoids. Uh, he worked for Roger Corman. No, he worked, he worked for Charles Bain. Yeah. <laughs> Pub Master 3. Two Lawns Revenge, where it got serious again. Oh, my uh, God. Maybe not. Um, he also did Sorority Babes. Sorority Babes and Slime Ball Yes, we love that movie. Yeah, there's a Reese Witherspoon lookalike. We're talking about Witch House, by the way. Uh, and I can, And she was on Angel, and I cannot remember her fucking name. Um, as, oh, Marissa Tate. I wrote it down. Yay, Yay. I have notes tonight. <laughs> cheat, cheat. Yeah, uh, it was just one of those. It's it's not a good film. I it's but I I really enjoy these bad trash films. Sometimes sometimes you need that. Yeah, they're they're cathart they're cathartic. They those made are- a couple of sequels of this film, but it's not like witchcraft where they made fifteen sequels. Mm-hmm. And it's an ongoing film series where it's like the same characters keep coming back and fighting witches that don't ever die or. You think they just, just give up after a while? Well, I mean, I mean we they, start, they start wishes. hanging out, going shopping with them. I don't know. I know Julie Strain's in like number three, so that was cool. <laughs> yeah, there, there's there's like bits. Of, so many people in the in the witch craft films that went on to make actual films and you know uh, uh, TV shows and things like that. So I, I got to pay the rent somehow. Uh, let's talk about the witches. The witches. The witches. The original witches movie. Oh, how far are we going back? <clears throat> the one. Made in 1980, was 89? What are you talking about? Like the Angelica the, the Houston? Wishes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Angelica Houston. That's, it, it's a good movie. It's, I know, I was gonna it's say. not one of my personal favorites, but it's it's a cute movie. Roald Dahl it's better loved his than, witches. It's better than the remake. 
I, I see. have not heard anything good. Yeah, about I watched it. It was it was enjoyable. Was I mean, it? I like Robert I Zemeckis, know. the guy who directed it. He's done some good films, but sometimes when directors get old, they just suck. Ah, it is what it is. It's a kid's and, movie. And Anne Hathaway is in it, and she's really hit or miss. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Uh, the original Angelica Houston, um, she is fantastic. And this movie was one of the last movies that Jim Henson ever worked on. Yeah, she was. That was, you can that really was tell. Morticia for her. Yeah, he did all. They did all the special effects when she turns. And remember, not okay. The story of the witches of uh, the. It's based off a Roald Dahl film. I mean, book. The Roald Dahl actually was still alive when this movie was made, and he hated it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was so very Charlie in the chocolate pack, or he, Willy Wonka. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's what I'm saying. He loves his 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 magic in his films because Willy Wonka to me is a witchcraft film, pretty much. Uh, it's it's got it's fantasy. Like, what's he it's doing? Fantasy. What mag- He's using magic to do ha- something. Has to happen. Um, I think there's been threads of people talking about that, mm-hmm. and I always enjoy that kind of thing because it's, it's obviously a magical fucking chocolate factory, man. Right. Uh, so in the witches, he got upset because they made it too dark but if you've read the story it's way darker right people fucking don't they just die yeah <laughs> they get killed uh, i don't even turn I, into a mouse you get the, stepped on he yeah. doesn't even become okay the, we're gonna jump ahead let's jump back the story is is that there's a like a summit meeting of all the witches in europe or england actually and they might be might, might be europe but the the meetings in, in england and there's a little boy and his, and his mom his mom was actually a witch hunter mm-hmm. and they, they connect all the dots between her and Angelica Houston later on, but to, to basically he gets turned into a mouse because their main uh, uh, thing they want to do is almost like Halloween 3. They're going to turn all the children all over Europe into mice yeah. through chocolate factories. Roll doll. <laughs> right. Well, chocolate stores, but whatever. Yeah. So it's connected to Willy Wonka. Right. It's, it's I bet part of the same universe. Hoops, baby. It's those snozberries. <laughs> snozberry witches. I've always thought they would, that OSHA would shut his factory down in a fucking heartbeat. You know, oh yeah, but how then, many children die here? Right, <laughs> none of those kids died. They just disappeared, and then I guess they got yeah. they got their comeuppance, and then they like, get little spankings. I don't know, but I love Roald Dahl's stories. They are so fucked. You know, I, for I, him to complain this was a dark movie made me kind of laugh. Hmm. It's a dark movie, yeah, but and it's not nearly as dark as the story. And, the, and at the end of the story, because the little boy gets turned into this mouse because they they catch him and give him an overdose, and he immediately turns into this mouse because there's like dosages to these. Uh, these chocolate, they're going to make these chocolate bars, but they just give him an immediate dose and he, turns, he, he becomes a mouse. Uh, at the end of the, at the end of the story, he doesn't even to return. No, he's going to die at the same age as his grandmother because mice don't live that long. There's a little bit in the movie where she's crying in bed and he's like, he's actually in the real Ghostbusters toy firehouse. At the end of the film, he's like, that's, that's his house. Wow. Yeah, I, I noticed that dumb shit. He's, he's sleeping in the top bunk and uh, I mean the top floor of the uh, real Ghostbusters toy. And she's crying in bed because she knows that he is going to die soon. But she's hoping she's also happy because she'll die the same time he will. Yeah. That's and then then Angelica Houston's secretary, who is basically bullied through the whole film, she's the only remaining witch at the end. And I guess I'm not going to spoil too much because we're not going to tell you how the story unfolds. But she changes him back. That's that was a that's like that's pretty fucking happy ending. Yeah. The new one's not that happy. Well, no, they probably made him more like the book. Yeah, the, the yeah. new one is not as happy as no. that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, I it's, thought it was, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun, and uh, I don't know. I, again, our, our I, witch, I, our witch, uh, our witch, uh, it's, um, uh, our witch says no. Uh, You're uh, telling me witches don't feed kids chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> no, nor do we eat children. Oh, yeah, okay. that's always fucking bothered me. Like the Hansel and Gretel, that goes all the way back to right? you know grim fairy tales, and before that, because they just collected the well, stories. Well, that goes back even further to Baba Yaga. Yeah, and I'm glad that's become a that's become like part of the of the vernacular now with horror nerds, mainly because of I would think uh, Hellboy, the re, the remake yeah. of Hellboy. It's a major character. Yeah, Baba yeah. Yaga. Yeah, Baba Yaga was right. <laughs> Baby, Baba, Baby Yaga is what I call her. I call her in another episode, or is it is it a he or she, or is it like doesn't matter what gender? It, it's, it, it's, it, it's it's multiple. Okay, multiple. That was, that was, it, it, it's it's like more that. of a title than a person. Okay, that's why I liked about like the movie Prophecy because the angels were not just they weren't a race. they weren't a gender. Mm-hmm. They were genderless. They just look kind of well, that's, more manly. You know, the con- the Constantine. Yes, and I do call it Constantine because that's how it's the, supposed the to film? be pronounced. Yeah. Oh, that's a fantastic. Yeah, and Til- Tilda Swinton is, Tilda Swinton is, is great. Angel Gabriel, yeah. I didn't like it at first because I was really fucking mad because I wanted that comic to come to life on multiple viewings afterwards. It's, I'm like, it, okay, it, this it, is the a movie fucking... The grows on you, but if we had Matt Ryan, who plays Constantine on like you know the DC shows on CW, yeah. I- imagine him in that movie. 
That would be fantastic. Oh, it'd be a beautiful movie. I love the animated uh, Justice oh, League Dark. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Fantastic. Yes. So, so we've got we've, we've got that. We we sort of glossed over Pumpkinhead, which it's like I don't know. It's mid mid America folklore witchcraft. Yeah, Bayou witchcraft. I, right. Yeah. You know, it's I it's mean, more is there cursing an expert on that. But I, I don't know anyone. I mean, yeah. there has to be small somebody. town vigil, a small town justice. And that's a, that's what that movie's more about. It's not. It is a witchcraft film, yeah. and that's how the, that's how it all happens. But it's about about the guy that has his shit together. It's like you know what killed my boy. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a demon. Yep. Here you go. Vengeance, the and demon, which was I think the original title for the film. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just jump into the craft, man. Fuck, we have to. Oh, God, damn let's it. do it. Do we have to? Yeah, we're going to. This movie is fucking responsible for like everything that <sighs> I hated in high school. I made notes. I mean, Jesus Christ! Like everybody was a fucking wiccan all of a sudden, like. I had friends that I hung out Grunge with. Grunge hits and so does the craft. Okay, I have to I have to I have to borrow this 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 phrase from a friend of mine. Um we we refer to those those kind of people as star hawking and roll your owns. Whoa. Yes. From you know, the Star Hawk novels, the yeah. to ride a silver broomstick to, you know, take a golden shower. Uh <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, those those. Th- <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> stir a magic cauldron. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's a lot of where, to me, some of the modern traditional witches. It's the first one that I mean, it was a major. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, but it was if you watch thing. it, only about five minutes of that movie is actual real witchcraft and that's, which, and that's when and that's when they go into the witch shop and the woman's working and they're looking oh. at books and everything that's the only true part of that movie really oh that yeah which is interesting that's that's yeah the, uh, <laughs> Pat, Pat, we, we read they, they read had, they had a um a, a, an expert on set her i think it was her pat devon Pat Devin, mm-hmm. you've got this tab up. She's oh good. Okay, I pulled up a tab for you, Dave. It has nothing about the, her. The Wiccan advisor on set who wrote the incantations and wanted to make sure that the Wiccans were respected. So obviously, in your opinion, failure. No, no. I mean, I mean, it's it's or it's, it's, it's good good between respect. I mean, it is respectful, but it's it's over she, fantasized. They changed uh, some of the wording to where it's not authentic, so it's not like right. you no know, man on is is actually. What is the what is the equivalent you would say? Two I, men on it. I, I, in reality, I can't say. See, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, there, I know there's like I said, uh, my tradition. We do have oath oath bound material. Yeah. So some stuff I can't say. Well, and I think that was the point. I think, yeah, I, I think, think that's I, the gist that I got yeah. being well. Pat Devin never. He also said. Oh, it's so a, was it, he? It's, okay. It, it said also said it's a motion picture. It's not a documentary. Like that yeah, was, I know. It's like watching the Doors documentary. Like this do, is not the movie. Do what you can. He did what he did, did. What he could. So uh, keeping. Do what keeping, thou will shall be yeah, the whole of just, the law. Just right. keeping an open mind. Just trying to. It's a high priestess of the covenant of the goddess. That's what Pat Devin was. Yes, I, I, I think it's I, visually beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I it, love. It's, it's, it's so nineties. I mean, it, it's got. But it is. Breck and Meyer. Mm-hmm. Come on, you got a movie. Breck and Meyer. I mean, the, Balk, Robin mm-hmm. Tenney. Uh, uh, Neva Campbell, Rachel True. Rachel True is almost 30. And Rachel True is a practicing witch. Really? Yes. That's fucking awesome. Probably not the time. It'd be yeah, awesome if no, she was. No, she is now. She is an amazing tarot card reader. She has an amazing Instagram. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to find yeah, that. She is. She is right but, up there. I, it's something I didn't like the movie. No, you, I can, you can shut it out. No, I'll, I, defend, I'll be the defender. Oh, well, I mean, I just, it's just everything that I hate. Is just derived from that movie. Like everybody, all of a sudden, was like, "I'm a witch." I don't know. I like, think and, if I didn't have the and, craft, I wouldn't have Buffy. <clears throat> that helped put Buffy on the air. Well, yeah, because I mean, the movie failed so badly, and I love Buffy and all that wonky witchcraft stuff they do on that show as well. I don't care. I love it. I love that show. It's really powerful for children. I, I showed it to I my think daughters. It's powerful it's for a, women. Yeah. yeah, I showed it to my daughters at a young age because. Even as just me being, I, I was raised by women, so I'm always trying to think of like what's best for my daughters. Because I'm raising my, I'm raising my oldest daughter, and I have my youngest daughter most of the time. Parenting time. done right. So I'm just trying. I, I'm a fucking dude. Let's go build, blow something up. No, let, here, check this out, and then you tell me what you want to do, and then and then we'll go blow shit up because they wanted both, which is cool. If you don't like this shit, we can go blow it up. And they wanted both. They wanted they, they wanted to listen to Minor Threat and watch Buffy. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Right. Nice. So. Uh, it, it, like I was saying, I mean, this movie was wildly popular, um, insanely popular. You know, even, so much that it made us uh, a remake. Now, 
<laughs> this remake that I'm now. not gonna even mention. Oh well, I mean it's it's a it's well it's not even a remake. It's a it's a sequel. Is it it's a, a sequel? Follow-up. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a follow up, and it comes out this year. No, it's already out. Oh it's, yeah, it it's came out, out last I, month, last week. I watched it, and my review for it was meh. Oh, so it's meh, meh. It's meh. Yeah, well, I didn't. I I didn't dislike it. I didn't hate it. I seems mean, it's to me just, like a nostalgia. Cash it was just. Grab, it was but, just. It was a movie. I didn't get anything out of it. Wow, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, because you go. Everyone remembers the craft, even if they don't like it. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Fleming pe- pe- people. Uh, Peter Filardi people. People Filardi. People. Uh, they're the writer and the the director and the writer and uh, Graham Revell. That music is just so 90s. Okay, I will, I will give The Craft a good movie soundtrack. Holy shit, he's done so many things. I had to write them all down, like Tank Girl, Street Fighter, <laughs> The Crow, uh, Boxing Helena. We talked about that. People Under the Stairs, Child's Play 2, Spawn, From Dust Till Dawn. 90s, the soundtrack. I mean, the, the first Mighty Morphin's Power Rangers soundtrack, he did that. So the music is solid. The the What was that? The cover song uh, Love Spit Love did mm-hmm. for their uh, the Smiths yeah. uh, song, which is good because now I can listen to it without thinking of fucking morrissey <laughs> amazing that you know who love spit love is yeah well it's because of this movie right yeah, I, I, it's one of those you know, it's like we talked about soundtracks before is because i would never know who the fuck that band is but they covered that song and it's the main theme song they actually used it on the goddamn show charmed they it's ripped this yeah, fucking I was, movie yeah off. I was just about to say that yeah uh the director talked about that he's like no they ripped up that i wrote a pilot episode for a witchcraft show and then they said no we're, we're good we don't need it and then they made their own and then stole it <laughs> <laughs> it's the same fucking premise. The power of three. Right. And then Instead they, of four, they have three. Yeah. Well, they just remade, or they've got the remake of Charmed now. Oh, that's right. Everything yeah. is getting remade. We're all old. <laughs> yes, we are, Steve. Pretty soon we're going to start remaking remakes. Another thing I liked about the craft is the, uh, you yeah, know, fuck, is the, uh, the special effects were by Tony Gardner. Tony Gardner got his start on Return of the Living Dead. He made the half zombie lady, which is so undeniably like it's one of those things about that film the tar man trash mm-hmm. and the half zombie yeah tony gardner did the special effects for how do you craft. make a half zombie I, I still don't understand that how do you make a half zombie yeah. you get this stuff out of a tank and then <laughs> i don't know i you mean make a whole zombie and cut it in half you could get you could get like old school we talked about zombies uh not too long ago when it came to satanism and witchcraft and all that and voodoo and all yeah we we had an episode about that uh, that's how they make zombies. Unless it's practical magic, then that's a different kind of zombie. Uh, you want to talk about practical magic? Do we have to? We don't have to. Yes, we do. I could go on about fucking Charmed. <laughs> I'm out, guys. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll talk about Buffy because Willow it fucking rules. Right. Well, okay. all right. We'll, we'll we'll talk about practical magic. Okay. I don't like that movie. Okay. Yes. Now, we had a conversation before we started. Please enlighten the audience. It's too... <laughs> too practical it's, too, it's, <laughs> it's just I, I i don't i don't know what it is i've tried to, i've watched that movie i've tried to love that movie i've tried stalker to, channing and dying weast are, are amazing. the only are the only two reasons to watch that movie Aiden quinn I, I like the cast i'm just gonna I, i'll continue mm. i know you don't like sandra bullock no i don't care i'm not looking demolition man up. you don't have to and demolition the, man and nicole kidman was yeah. much better in moulin rouge yeah, she was actually. I like Bob Lerman. I, you know, whatever. I don't give a yeah. fuck. Uh, but I, I like. I do like the song, the the Latin yeah. name song from Practical Magic. Yeah. I'll give it that. That's, okay. that's a pretty song. But you're looking up Dave Practical Magic. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a fun movie. It's very much this uh, of its time, just like The Craft is. Right. Well, I did. I did a top five recently. That's on, it. That's what on, we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, on my yes. uh, YouTube channel about, uh, and I ask about uh, some odd. Which is um, can't remember how many now, but what their actual what their favorite uh, witch movie was, and I asked them for one each, so I wouldn't have to do the multiples. And it was like Bed Knobs and Broomsticks was number five. Hell yeah! Then The Wicker Man, uh, then um, The Craft, then The Witch, and uh, then of course Practical Magic. Practical Magic had to be number one. Weird. Yeah. So among Wiccans. Practical, Practical magic, magic, at least the people who follow you on your yeah. on your on your uh, podcast. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. I got nothing to say about that. <laughs> yeah. I've got, I'm wrong because I'm not any of this stuff. Uh, the, the the only thing I have to say is, man, drag me to hell. How about that? <laughs> that's all movie movies, uh, movies, movies. That's, about, a gi- that's a gypsy movie. Movies, movies it about is. putting curses on. And that's people. a different style of yeah. witchcraft. Curse, yeah. Curses, curses, thinner, the, thinner, right? 
thin air. Yeah, drag me to hell. You piss off the wrong person, they'll You're fucking fucked. They'll put a curse on your ass. I put a curse on you. I've got. Uh, let's talk about. Let's talk about fucking Blair Witch. Oh, I, remember I that. love that movie. It's yeah. a, it's it's my number four in my personal horror movies. Now we're talking about the original, not the uh, remake or the sequel. Yeah, uh, it, Blair it, Witch. In its time, it was new. It had never been done before. The change it so changed. much. It, yeah. it put docu- mockumentaries yeah. on the map, like found footage films. Right. I remember uh, there people, had been a few before that, but this was the one. Yeah. I remember like, a lot of people. The Jersey Holocaust, Devil. Yeah. Yeah, the Jersey Devil one. Yeah, I remember a lot of people like being like, "This is real. It really happened." They thought it was real, and I'm like, "That chick was in a steak and shake commercial. Like, yeah. calm the let, fuck down." Let, okay, so well, David David Goya is who's actually his uh, he he's a pseudonym for his name, and uh, he's it's him and I forgot the other guy's name who made this. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't know that David Goya actually was a part of that. Yeah. Um, but Goyer, sorry. Yeah, because he does. Oh, I keep saying he does, Goyer. I love that art. He does all the damn DC movies these days. Yeah, everybody knows him for that. They know him yeah. for Blade. This was one of the movies, the movies that helped put his name on the map, but you don't even know he's a part of it because he used a fake name. Right. Uh, but they put a lot of time on it with their online campaign. They made oh, documentaries. I mean, this is when the internet was just starting. Yeah, the Sci-Fi Network made an entire documentary series about Rustin Parr. And none of it was presented as if it was fake. And I have yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. I have the two the two tape version of a Blurry Witch that comes with all the documentary stuff. This is before like DVDs really a th- big thing. Right. And uh, and it's fantastic. And a lot of people don't like this film because it's not it doesn't doesn't pay off the way they want it to pay off. It pays off exactly how it should. Yeah, that's guy, a well rated. That's a one way to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. The, guy, me, the guy's just being in the corners. He's like, just afraid. Leave yeah. alone. Yeah, yeah, and the house. Can a man is, get a little piece? Yeah, I, I just love because they built up everything, and none, nobody's real actors. I mean, I've seen these people on the convention circuit, but before this film, they really hadn't done anything. Yeah, serious. They, they were not actors. Yeah, they were just given a very loose idea for the day. I think they would would leave them a package, I believe. Yeah, and then they would say, "Hey, this is what you're going to do for the day. This is what you. This is the shots these you are have little, to get. These are little bits of lines. Right. You need to include these, but the rest improvise. Right. And then we'll be in the woods. We'll be watching you." That's the that's kind of how I understood. I think the they film left them alone for like two days right. out in the woods by themselves, and then they would re- re- really wake up, and the stuff would be in the trees. Yeah, and sometimes they wouldn't know what the hell they were doing. That's fantastic filmmaking, yeah. man. And they made it knocked Halloween off the shelf for being the most successful independent film of all time, yeah. and horror film at least. Yeah, and it's, might, it's, it might have been like of all time, but yeah. Uh, well, at the time I was working at uh, the at Twig and Leaf, and. Uh, which is a little bitty cafe here in Louisville, yes. Kentucky. And uh, I had a coworker who I I had found out that Blair Witch was not real, but she swore up, down, left, and right that this actually happened. We were so amazed to go see this movie. And I walk into work one day and she runs up to me. She's like, it's not real. And I, just, <laughs> and I couldn't help myself. I started busting out laughing and she chased me around that restaurant with a butcher knife. Oh, Imagine Dave working in a video store at the time being like, oh, so, there you go. So here's the thing. And at I least know you're pe- still alive. I, I yeah. know people will listen to this and be like, how could somebody think that was fucking real? You weren't there. Like, turn on fucking Facebook and see what your aunt thinks is fucking real. Right, like, right. See what people post Q-Anon. now. I mean, people seriously. People fall, fall for stupid shit all the time. At but least this, this was, was so. This was fun. And the only this reason. This was straight I think real. The only reason that it broke out at the time that it wasn't real was one of the actors was spotted at Cannes. Probably. Yeah. That makes sense. And this is a movie they made for like $500,000. Yeah, there's oh, no not credits. even that. Right. I think it was less than that. The yeah. budget somewhere between two to $500,000 and they made $248 million. Jeez, it's massive. It, it helped found footage films just blow up because you can make them for hardly anything. You have the payroll actors. Same with uh, uh, reality television. It was like, fuck. Why are we spending a million per actor when we don't have to get anybody? We'll just make reality television. It was and then they fan. made a sequel. Yeah. That sucked. Book of Shadows. I saw that one time. It was everything I didn't want the first film to be. And I have to say, in my personal opinion, the the newest sequel, Blurry Witch, is everything that I thought that people wanted from the first film, but everything that happened also in the first film. I thought it was the best of both worlds myself. And I know you said you didn't like it. I didn't like it. The acting... Okay. the. Because A, Blair Witch is one of my favorite movies. So even going into this, I'm watching this as I know these actors are A, going to be okay at the end of this movie. I know they're just acting. Completely different experience, yeah. Yeah, it it, it completely is. It tries so hard to be the first movie and fails so miserably because really? you can't invest emotionally in this movie. Like True, okay, I can see one. that. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I got up, walked out, and I stood Holy in the shit. parking lot of the theater trying to light my ticket on fire. I hated it that much. Wow. Yeah. And it so you didn't burn. finish the film? No. Okay. I, 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 I walked I out like it. three Forgot minutes Forgot it existed. It no, it's okay. It came out in, oh, wait, last year, year before? What, uh, about two years ago, I want to say. Yeah, okay. Um, and two, I actually, I just passed it up. I was like, fuck this movie. I had a couple of friends tell me, no, man, you should watch it. So I didn't see it until this week, mm -hmm. just to, for this episode. And I didn't even know if we were going to be able to get to it, because we're actually, you know, it's getting close on time. We just have to wrap, wrap things up. But definitely want to talk about it i thought that it was the payoff that people thought they wanted out of the first film when everything was still well done like i thought the i thought the acting was good for a lot of the different people, if it had but come out if it had come out closer if they had made this movie closer to the first one it probably would have been better do you like this or book of shadows oh uh, i i think okay i will say the third one is better than book of shadows i think you should go back and rewatch it i think so if i if i would watch the first one and the yeah. second one but Again, it's very it's, close to the same film, by the way. There's no emotional attachment. To yeah, it. it's tough to do that. It's tough to invest in something that you just... Because the first one, you can I'm really out. lose yourself in that world. You can or you can't. People, people fucking hate that movie. I, and I understand what they're trying to say. Right. I understand being like, this fucking sucks, man. But I had such a love of, of film anyways. I'm not just a garden variety person who likes horror films. Right. I understand all different types of horror films. Yeah. So you have is, to look at where Blair Witch came from. Right. And I, I, I like it. it it's the, it's me running through the woods at midnight when I'm, I need to get home fast. And the faster I run, the faster my heartbeat runs. My brain starts working. Everything behind me is trying to kill me. There's nothing there. All that's happening in my in my emotions when I'm watching this film. Absolutely. Because yeah. there's nothing there, Steve. I can't. I got to jump across the, the, the shadow at nighttime to go take a piss. It's that guy. Yeah. It's that, that kid who's that, afraid of the, of the of the corner at, at nighttime. That's how that to go movie works, restaurant. and that's how fine footage works. It's, it does. It's so Personal surreal. Experience. It's like, it's like uh, think about this I always, can actually happen. I always think back to the to the first thing I saw that was sort of shot like that was Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Oh yeah, right. yeah. yes. The, the scene where they're just the mom and dad on the floor, mom's on the on the chair, and then in comes little Johnny, and he drops the camera, and it's just that grittiness and the raw the rawness of it that makes it. Just that extra bit of scary, You're like holy shit, yeah. this, this could be a real thing. I can't wait because we're going to do a true crime episode. Uh, <sighs> films based on true crime, uh, films based on true crime. But uh, uh, we're going to throw this up here soon, so we're going to skip over. I mean, Hereditary, Neon Demon, right. The Witch. Uh, let's just skip to the witch. Let's, we let's skip talk to the witch, witch because that's either it's another polarizing film. Yeah. So let's end it on the witch, guys. And that that is an amazing, amazing film. Um, even though it has almost nothing to do with actual witchcraft, it is such a beautifully shot, beautifully written movie. Yeah, now, there are witches in that movie, right? Uh, yeah, at the very end. Yeah, <laughs> there is a witch. And yeah, because also... I do like to live deliciously. I do like to wear yeah. dresses. I love. Yeah, you fucking uh, Captain Morgan shows up at the end. He's like, "Hey, you like my rum, and you want to live deliciously?" <laughs> That's what he looks like. <laughs> See, I really like this movie, but I had to like I saw it in the theater. Super slow burn. Couldn't understand a fucking word those kids were saying because <laughs> like, their accents are really thick. They're, they're really yeah. thick, and I'm like, and authentic. And yeah. and the whole time I'm like, I can't wait until this turn comes out on DVD so I can turn on the fucking subtitles. Because I went and saw it with Rachel, and we just both looked at each other every so often, like, did, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> Like, cause one, Plus I, the dad, I forgot the actor's name. He's fantastic. He has the beat, deepest fucking voice yeah, ever. He was in um, uh, Dave yeah. Will Hill. Yeah, we'll have to look at that. But his yeah, his voice is so fantastic. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of... Uh, Ralph you, Michael Innocent. Yes. Thank you. There is so much conjecture in that movie, too, that actually the, the kids, the little boy and the little girl, that they are reminds actually... Reminds me of the Salem Mistrial shit. It's like, they are, are these kids just being like this to torture their older sister? Or that they're actually the ones possessed by the witch true yeah, yeah. that's a, there's so many different because ways to there's look so at many it. yeah there's there's so much conjecture on that movie because you know these days people just take any kind of movie and they just start pulling it apart and you know making conjecture about this and that and this and that yeah uh, they look for any li little single easter egg you know the moment that uh black philip hits the dad uh-huh everyone the whole theater just roared <laughs> There was like, I fucking knew it. That fucking <laughs> it's <goat>. real. <laughs> because you don't know. If you haven't seen the film, don't listen to us. But if you have, you're going to be the same. You're going to say the same thing. That's the part where everybody's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> or you're like, holy shit. But I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wait for that part. I didn't know what was going to happen. What a great 
part. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. But the I was movie, like, damn, yeah, really, I, really takes a turn there. It does. Part. It does. It's just oh, like, fuck. And then, and then, and then the mother. You're right. Oh God. Uh, we can go on. I, I kind of want to go on it, but we don't have a lot of time anymore. Right. Um, so this is that that that's the film that I think helped usher in a whole other level of witchcraft films. But then we're now we're getting crappy ones too. Right. So yeah. but that's it, it kind of raised that bar again. It did. And it then did. of course the bar is <laughs> <laughs> raise the bar and just drops it. The right bar just got fucked back down. Yeah. Flush it. Well, you know, I, like, like I said, I, I thought it was. I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was a fun movie. And the and witch. I, though I thought it's it was a fun a, movie. It's a feel I, good I, movie. I thought, of the I, week. Thought, I thought it was a fun movie in the sense of like. Oh, I laughed like, at a few <laughs> parts of it. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> that's you, true. Once, once you once you can understand the fucking kids and everything. You know, <laughs> they, it's, it's not that bad. Can we have subtitles, sir? Yeah. Seriously, I really wish that was an option when I go to the theater because. It, I, I fucking deaf, really. <laughs> well, it, it has. We were talking. We touched on the uh, Witchfinder General. It had the same kind of feel when I watched this film. It's like God. This I need to bath. Everyone's dirty. This mud. Yeah. It's really realistic in that sense. We're like, this is an out. This is a a a, 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 a recall. Like a, 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 living front, out in the fucking frontier. Yeah, they're, they're, fr they're in the frontier. Holy shit! Yeah, they're they're ostracized from the town. That to me is terrifying automatically yeah. i'm like and they don't have you know heat they don't have heat they don't have <laughs> water they myself. don't have soap they're fine they have dysentery right and and they have their faith and they don't have a baby <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and they don't have not after the first 10 minutes at least don't forget about that one <laughs> oh, holy shit uh <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a baby but yeah i like movies like this because it's a slow burn and then when there's the turn but it really pays off it, it pays off it pays off and it pays off in a way. I could have done is, without Captain Morgan. Eh. I would have liked Black Philip just to be. Look up the, the look up the guy. I can't remember his name, but the voice of Black Philip. Oh yeah, yeah. I I would live deliciously for him. Oh, I bet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I could have done without the. He's like a slender Jason Momoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he? Yes. Oh, he's like the crow. He's supposed to play the crow coming up. He he looks. Wait, Jason Momoa. Yeah, movie. that 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 was a rumor a while back, wasn't it? Jason in my, Momoa. In my is, best, in my best, Mr. Roper. Oh, that's so bad. So what the guy's bad name idea. is Daniel Malik. Yes. I don't know. He's the, yeah. Is he sexy? Yes. I, I don't know, Steve. You tell me. Okay. That guy. Oh yeah. All right. If I was a dick, I, I did. I, 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 <laughs> I, I would live deliciously for him. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up, everybody. Uh, I want to thank Jay for coming on the show. You are. It's it's great to hear perspectives from people. We're gonna do this for a while. Uh, Derek's taking a little bit of a break. He's uh, he's you know he's gonna be super dad, and, and it's during the holidays. And Dave and I are totally cool with that. And it's and we uh, definitely can't wait for him to come back. But until then, we're gonna have multiple guests. And I'm, what I'm gonna try to do is aim it towards guests that are you know have an expertise in what they do. And you definitely have an expertise in this genre. I have my moments, man. You you but you. <laughs> Just in the first 10 minutes, I was like, well, fuck, I didn't know that. And I like that. That's what I like. Um, and thanks for putting up with my stupid questions. Hey, oh, I, I enjoyed answering I them. I kind of warned him before you but, got here. But if, but if you would like to learn more, I could I could tell you where to find me on, on Yeah, online. give us give us a spiel. Yeah, oh, well, you can find me on Facebook at That Kentucky Witch. You can find me on Instagram at That Kentucky Witch. And you can find me on Twitter at That KY Witch. Yeah. Yes. That Kentucky Witch was taken on Twitter. You can, it, it, oh. It's too long. Too long. <laughs> That's what he said. Size mattered. And of course, you can find my YouTube channel at That Kentucky Witch. That's awesome. Yes. Well, thank you for coming on the show, hey, Dave. I appreciate you having me, Steve. Oh, you're one of my best buds. We haven't you know, seen each other in like quite, I know. I'm, quite I miss, a while. I miss the Gore Club. Yeah, I miss, we all do. Get to the clubhouse! Yeah. I, 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 I would always have, for, for those of you listening, I would always have my birthday parties at Gore Club, and they would always be themed pajama parties. Yeah. Yes. I miss those. Yes. I still have my onesie. <laughs> my my skull should, onesie. 2020, everybody should yes. have a onesie. What, was, uh, what, what did we do that night? Uh, the slime, It was Slumber Party. Yeah, we did the Slumber Party yeah. Massacre films. Um, for those who don't know, I run a weekly uh, movie bar, and uh, Sunday nights is the Gore Club, actually. We're the actual Gore Club, and it's free movies, and we just, we just get drunk and watch movies at a real bar. Yeah, and uh, Jay throws a slumber party, massacre parties. I did, I did the yeah, I did that, and then I did the uh, I think you did ghosts one year. I did the uh, the retro rewind. It was like '60s movies. It was like, uh, um, 
I can't remember. Oh, geez. It's been uh, years. It has been, yeah. Uh, but always, always my birthdays usually have a theme to them. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good time. We'll get, we'll get through this election, and then we'll get through this damn uh, this pandemic, virus. and we'll yeah. get back to the clubhouse. I'm going to let Dave get us out of here. All right. Thank uh, you guys. Find us on YouTube. Like and subscribe. You can also find us on Apple, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Anchor FM, Castbox, Spotify, TuneIn, Overcast, Podcast Addict, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, and Breaker. Do we have any new countries? No, we're st- we're, we are in we're 15 st- countries and 12 languages, I think. 12 languages. It's kind of weird. 13 languages. 13 languages. Well, some languages, play, play, some places share language. It's because it's a different country. Have you started with English yet? Yes. <laughs> Steve doesn't have that one down yet. All right, well. Now, obviously, if you've not listened to this enough, I, I can't speak. Well, All we'll right. see you next time. Thank you, guys. We're out of here. Bye. <laughs> Woo.